50 kilograms. Pick Matej Kamang from Cambodia versus from here in Myanmar, Mike Yain. 123 combined victories for these All two in. fighters. 88 for Kamang, 35 oh. for Yain. That is very hands round number one. Kamang making his World Lightweight Championship debut tonight. PNN Stadium Champion of 57 kilograms. Third appearance. WLC for Mike Yine, two-time gold belt champion at 57 kilograms. And again, this bout at 60 kilos. Can I just say, both records, impressive, very impressive. Listen. Yine from the southpaw stance, the right hand nicely done. Oh. Low blow, no time called. You saw the apology from Yine right back to it. Yine fainting on the rear roundhouse. Swing from that southpaw stance from Kamang. Just missing with the elbow. That's a powerful snapping body kick. Kamang swinging big early, Michael. Yes, definitely see more aggression coming from the blue corner. 40 remaining round number one. It's bout number three of the evening. Still five more headed your way. WLC six heartless tigers. And a complaint of a low blow second of this bout from Kamang. Oh. Instructed to keep his kicks up. One, two misses from that southpaw stance for Kamang. Good uppercut. Yine landed to the inside, back out, then the overhand right from Kamang. But is turning up the pressure is the left hand from Pick Matei Kamang. Body head. Yine sharp with that right cross after the left jab. Stop. On the kick, down goes Kamang right back to his Stop. feet. Crowd becoming very animated. Swing. Kamang really taking himself oh. off balance. The trip from Yine, but that really wasn't the reason that Kamang fell. It was that big swing and a miss with the right hand. That's a powerful body kick from Mike Yine. The right hand and a smile from Yine when he lands. That kick to the cup we fight on. Pick was definitely showing his power. There's that power shot I was talking about. Frank stepping into the left hand, then the clipping right hand, then the kick on the way down. Ready. Oh. Not rule the knockdown. Yon says he's fine. We fight on. Body kick right hand. Step in knee. Outstanding round number one for this lightweight that fight. Awesome. That is the one. end of the opening round. That was beautiful for a first round. Definitely excited to see how this fight turns out. Round number two. Oh. Take Kamang just bounced himself off of the ring ropes before the start of this second round. To the center of the ring we go. Done with emphasis, right back to his feet in dramatic fashion. Smile on the face of Yine, more of a smirk. Front teeth, rear roundhouse. Big swing and a miss from Kamang. He's really loading up now. Body kick from Yine. That draws an ovation. And a body kick that from Kamang. The apology for a low blow. That's 2 2 on low blows in this fight. Body kick. Just misses with the head kick, eats the body, then the left hand. Pick definitely showing his power and speed, but I find that White's got more accuracy. He's landing more shots. Even though he's not throwing as much, his shots are landing. Then resetting center of the ring. He lands the body kick, had his rear leg hey, kicked out from under him. Right back to it. 
No knockdowns in this fight, ruled, at least not yet. Early days, 90 seconds remaining round two. Another smile on the face of Yain. Trying no doubt to get to the head of pick Matei Kamang. Headbutt from the clinch. You see the body lock from Yain. Trying to throw the side headbutt, pushing Kamang back against the ring ropes, and there's the separation. Oh. Starting to square up over his stance, misses with that head kick. Kick coming in with that power overhand left. The headbutt. Definitely using that power as he's coming in. Looking real closely now, but bleeding nose. John literally running off of the ring ropes trying to land that high kick. 30 seconds remaining round two. Leaping jab, leaping knee off the mark from Yain. Again, a smile on his face. Yain cut on the bridge of his nose. Effective on the rear push kick from Kamang. Kamang landed that left hook. Outside step of pick Matei Kamang coming to the inside. Hook to the body from Yain with the left hand. Missing on the elbows, Kamang. Right hand from Mike Yain. Down goes Yain. Off balance, not ruled a knockdown. Well, all over the bridge of Yain's nose. This is definitely getting bigger from when it first started. That combo's up, effectively making that cut open. Even bigger and bigger. We are headed to round three. Very close thus far, Michael, through the opening two rounds. Very close, very technical and powerful, explosive kicks and combos from Are both they? ends. I, I have they? no idea who's going to win this one. This one is a good fight. Oh. As he did to start round two, Kamang bounces off of the ring ropes, moves to the center of the ring to start round three. That's a nice left to the body. Those body shots during, later on during the end of the round, they do hurt. Missing with the head kick fully. Same fainting on the knee. Snap on the head kick, then the rear roundhouse to the body. Young right back to his feet as his kick oh. was caught. Missing with that head kick. Good left hand from Kabang. Nice power shot. The more significant strikes of this fight than a significant right hand from Young. Low kick, not much there. Powerful on the inside kick from Kamang. Oh. Told to bring up the kick though. Kamang's got really good agility, bouncing back and forth. I like that. Both this and first leg kicks. Very effective, very hurtful too. Oh! Left got hand. A, definitely feel that tomorrow morning. Kick under the armpit. Nine not landing cleanly, lands that knee. Left to the body, another left to the body, then the left to the head, counter left hand right back from Mike Yain. And then the front push kick, counter right hand from Yain again. Effective counter striking from Mike Yain. Run on the bridge of his nose, opening and the blood flowing freely now in round three. I think what can work for both fighters is showing more body shots. At the moment, they're really targeting the face. More, uh, more power shots with the elbows. Hey. Oh. Resetting. One, two, not getting through. Body kick partially got through. Now going wild, more aggression. Good right hand and the kick in the right hand again. Good sequence from Yain. Kamang firing right back. Big hook. And the inside pressure on the jump knee. Switch kick. Looking oh, for the dunk. Kamang partially hits it somewhat awkwardly. 30 seconds remaining round three. Oh, the beautiful technique there just then. Just before he got dumped, he did a jumping knee. Big right hand from Kamang. Finding 
coming home for the body kick, saying he was kicked low again. We fight on. Got really stretched with that right hand. One from the bridge of his nose, his cross now into his left eye. He's going to absolutely wreak havoc on vision. Oh. Awesome, Brent. Awesome, here. awesome, Brent. And we are going to round four. It's been rugged through the opening three rounds, nine minutes. The bell in the start of round number four, and you see the respect between these two fighters. McMatei Kabang of Cambodia, he's in the blue trunks. Mike Yine from here in Myanmar is in the red trunks. Kick on the hip from Yine. Nice sequence with the right hand. Jabbed in the hook, counter right hand from Yine. Big flashing left hand from Kamang. Right back to his feet. His leg kicked out on the rear leg. See the blood down across the left cheek of Mike Yine. From the cut on the bridge of his nose, which was opened in round number one. Right hand from Vic Matei Kamang. Hard outside kick from Mike Yine, then the inside kick right back. Kamang continues, Michael, to find a home for that body kick. Big slapping head kick. Just wearing that. He's got a good coming in combo with a good coming in coming, coming kick. No! Oh. On the right hand, down goes Mike Yine. Technically, that should have been an eight count. He got dropped by a punch, but he's wearing it well. Down the right hand from Yine. Definitely ate the right hand before he went down. Now rule the knockdown, though, is such. Side kick on the arm. The power shots are now coming out on both hands. Pick definitely coming out for a, more of aggression. Take command starting to load up, load up and land from the mid-range. Normally with how Pink's combo starts, it cuts in with a big kick or a big hook. 60 seconds remaining round four. Big, big shot to left hand. Going falling back, perhaps the ring rope saved him from going down to the canvas. Fully getting through from behind. Mang landing real power punches here in round four. His power shot definitely you can hear from the crowd. Landing flush. I think he's really starting to load up with those punching and kicking. He does a jab, landing right cross. Mang circling. Those kicks that I'm talking about. Too smart, too, too, too fast. Nothing on that body kick from behind. Mang moving from mid range to the outside. Mang as this fight progresses, more and more an elusive target. And you see that flow of blood. Across the left cheek in the corner of the right left eye of Mike Yang. Beautiful We're round. Fifth and final round. Beautiful round for Pig from the blue corner. Definitely showing his aggression and power shots. Set for the fifth and final round of this lightweight fight. The Matei Kamang's corner emphatic that he turned up the pressure even more here in round five. For a very good round number four. Frank starts with the inside kick. Kick right back from behind. That was quick. Pink's got this beautiful coming in forward hook and then landing that left cross. Left hand straight from Kamang from that southpaw stance. Hard to the ropes. Cheated by Yain. Take a man, continuing to come forward. 
Moore now cutting off the ring. And the simple left hook cross combo is definitely working for him. As is that straight left hand to the inside, the kick on the separation. Beautiful kick combo. Trying to get taken off of his striking line. That's the knee of the cup. We'll see if time is called. Young turns his back and walks away. That was right in front of our commentary position, and I heard that to yes, the cup. I definitely heard that one. Wow. It does hurt, even though that we're wearing a cup. Most Three, people do not know it four, does hurt. When you work in combative five, sports, you know that seven, very distinct sound seven, that we just heard it. Eight. Okay. But instead, it's a count. And accidentally spat out his mouthpiece, puts it right back in. Hey, off. Oh. Not a warning, and I believe that was actually ruled as an eight count. Yes, uh, that one actually shocked me. I did actually do that. Kind of I was throwing very big now. Tied on the clinch from Yine. Heavy pressure from Kamang. So to review, looked like a clear kick to the cup. We certainly heard it. Yine delivering the Kamang. Yine turned and walked away. Seemingly acknowledging the illegal but unintentional, and so it seems, strike. The Kamang turning his back and receiving the eight count. Pick definitely picking up the pace. I think he's angry from that A count. He's definitely picking up the aggression. Going down, right back up. There's the restart. Body kick from Pick and Take Bang. Going down, right back up. Again, it is extremely hot, extremely humid inside Two and I Door Stadium, and again, both fighters going down. Left hand, down goes Yine. No count, right back to it. Side kick, a left hand, and Yine goes down again. And there's the count, there's the ruled count. as a knockdown. Yine is protesting, but he ate the left hand, Michael. Yes, definitely. That, the last A count, I don't actually know if it was an A count. It was most likely a, a kick to the grind. And we'll see how we go, see if this is really going to Closing stages of this fight. Dump on Kabang by Yine. Wide open now for both men. Power shots are now coming out. Considering this is the fifth last round, they are going hard at it. That is the end of a very rugged fight. Showing respect from each corner. Beautiful. Gentlemen, we have a decision. After five ferocious rounds of lightweight action, we go to the judges' scorecards. To present the prize to the winner, we have Bobo Tet, Managing Director of Key Company, Canal Plus Channel Ambassador Pyo Nye So, and Canal Plus Sports Ambassador Ong Sang. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, fighting out of the blue corner by split decision from Nome Cambodia, Pek Desmo! There you have it, coming from the blue corner. Those power shots definitely had a real good win on that one. Just before the official decision was read, we heard the disquiet in the corner of Pikmate Kamang. They were complaining on that eight count when they thought it was clearly a low blow suffered by Kamang. In the end, it does not matter. In his 99th career fight, win number 89 for the Cambodian Pikmate Kamang. That was really entertaining, Michael. That was very, very impressive, and can I just say, very impressive record on both fighters. The winner, by way of unanimous decision,